Hey, what's good family? In this video, I'm going to be showing you a very clear strategy that is easy to implement, easy for beginners, uh, very simple to trade, and one that has seemed a lot more relevant with all this recent volatility that we've been having. Now, for those of you that like to ask, this is the Moomoo desktop platform. This platform is great for you if you want to use indicators, but you don't want to pay to use indicators. This, this platform is free. So real quick, I'm going to show you how to set it up, how I have mine. And then after we will talk about the strategy. So real quick, in order to get yours like this, all I did, you're going to left click. You want to come and come down the line type. I think when you initially do it, it has it on maybe clothesline. Yeah, I think it has it on clothesline or something like that. You want to switch line type to either. You can either go hollow candles if you like this a little bit more but I'm going to go candles. All right. Next after that, you're going to want to set up your indicators. So, so what you're going to want to do is once again, left click, go to edit indicators. And what you're going to do is click on EMA or yeah, click on EMA, come to the settings. And this is where you're going to have to adjust some things. So I personally uh, usually have my 48 EMA orange and my 13 EMA blue. So if you want it just like mine, what you're going to want to do is uncheck all the other colors or you can also like click on the colors, change them if you want, but you're going to need to make some changes. Otherwise you're going to have all these extra lines on your chart and it's going to be a mess. So I'm going to take those off and only keep the essentials. Now going over from style, you're going to click on parameter and I believe this was one, this was two, but the way I had it, I changed the one at the top to be 48 and the one next one to be 13 and pretty much these just correspond with whatever is in that position on style. So top position 48, as you can see over here, and then second position 13, as you can see over here. So. Once you have those set up, hit confirm. And then if you ever want to clean up the charts and not have those and just like plot supply and demand or something, just click on the EMA that's gone or any other indicator like RSI, just click on it. If you need to make adjustments, click on settings. But yeah, that's a quick tutorial on how to set that up. But getting into it, the strategy that I was talking about is fairly simple. It's just going to be the 1348 EMA cross. Uh, the way this strategy works is going to be different or look different on different time frames. Right now we are on the five minute time frame, and it's pretty much whenever you see a cross of these EMAs that is telling you that you are in a more bullish, you're, you're either crossing bullish or bearish. So Right here, if had you entered right here on this trade, uh, you would have got in at 201, and it's and and you would have gotten out right here at about 202. So once again, this is going to look different on different time frames. I personally prefer either the 15 minute time frame or something like the one hour just to show me what the overall trend is. Because if you're trying to day trade on the five minute. It's not as good, but had I decided, hey, I'm going to trade downside on Tesla whenever we got this initial cross right here, I would have been able to ride this from here. We got it right here. I would have had the opportunity to ride it from like right about here. So from up here at 225 down to about 126, that would have been the trade I took. And that's just because that's just because got entry on the cross of the EMAs. And then once we got a complete close above, which would be this candle right here, that's my signal to get out. That's my signal to take profits. And that's a nice little move over the span of about two or three days. So that's what it looks like on the one hour chart. Let's take a look on, at the four hour chart, see how different it looks. On the four hour chart, it lets you know a little bit earlier. So 
it lets you know that since Ju about July 24, when we initially got this cross right here, this happened after hours. Uh, when we initially got this cross right here at 2.45, Tesla is at 2.45. Uh, we come, we close above down to like 2.24. So with that, 2.45 to 2.24, that's a $20 move. At this point, we're still in the downtrend, but we got our complete close right here. And because we know we're still in the downtrend, if we want to find re-entry in this region right here between July 30th to the 31st, this is when you would drop down to a smaller time frame. So looking at July 30th to the 31st, all right, so we crossed up here. And once again, we got our cross to the downside right here around 228. This is when you would get back in on the lower time frame. And then if you want to date, if, if it's a day trade for you, move down to a smaller time frame. But once you found your entry, your solid entry again, which was uh, right here on August 1st, you can hop back up if this is a longer term trade for you and continue to ride this trend down. So the trade was, the trade entry was right here. We're still respecting this trend line to the downside. So as of right now, the second trade that we took on this would be from about that 228 area to right now, we're still sitting at 200. And once again, since we're looking at it on that four hour time frame. We're still in the trade. We're expecting this to take some time and we're looking for that complete candle close above, which would, if it were, if we were to get a sudden jump above this 20430 area and it just holds there, that would be when we exit the position. But either way, that would be $24 in profit. If you haven't already taken advantage of it, Make sure to check out the Moomoo referral link down below in the description. Right now, when you sign up using anyone else's link for Moomoo, they're going to give you anywhere from 5 to 15 free stocks. But when you use mine down below in the description, they're going to give you anywhere from 8 all the way up to 20 free stocks when you use that link. So if you're interested in getting up to 20 free stocks, be sure to sign up using that link down below in the description. If you enjoy the video or learn anything, be sure to smash the like button. If for some reason you're new here and haven't already, be sure to subscribe. And last but certainly not least, Matthew Manuel signing off and I want to change your life.